as you guys could see here on my thing, on my screen here, that we actually have a general configuration. Now we did do this in a duplex uh, configuration yesterday instead of a simplex. So that is just one of the configuration changes you might see here. We're gonna go over everything. So as you can see, we have the split right here. We're coming down here. We're set to DMR gateway because we're gonna be using multiple DMR networks. The first network here is automatically gonna be assumed as Brandmeister. So we set our Brandmeister network here, set the password here. Now, if we come over to our Brandmeister self-care portal, services self-care, oh, let me log in. You'll notice down here, it says hotspot security password. And that is actually where we put in that password. And that password will actually be your hotspot security password you put right here. Now, a lot of people have none here. I always tell everyone, make sure you put a one, two, one of these numbers in there, because this is going to distinguish the difference between your radio and your hotspot. And if you have multiple hotspots, they all need to have a different unique number. Otherwise, traffic will uh, not, they won't know where to send the traffic properly. So just make sure you guys have that set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to expert. We're going to go to DMR gateway. And we're going to scroll down. And this right here, whoop, a little too far, right here, is the section that we have added for TGIF. Now, a few noticeable differences from the configurations you'll find online is that one, this has prime.tgif.network. This was recently added to uh, help with some of the issues that people were having when connecting directly to tgif.network. Uh, your password here is one that is generated. Uh, let me actually come here to my user security. That is your key right here. When you push this regenerate, it regenerates. So if you guys saw yesterday's stream, as you can see, today is a different ID. I just, as easy as that, you just click those buttons, it regenerates a new key. Now in here, since TGIF does not actually have an echo or a um, parrot group, uh, what we actually do is we come here and we set up talk time slot one and two to go for four zero zero, which is the prefix. Uh, four is the prefix, zero is the padding for the TGIF network that we're setting up. And I'll get into that in a second here. So what this does is when you go 4009990, it's actually going to change that to 9990 and send it out over Brandmeister. But that's just checking the configuration for the, the switch that you're having, the rewrites. If that works, then everything should work properly. Now, right here, we have talk group rewrite. What this does is this does the padding with the four for time slot one and two. Then what we have is our, our padding of zeros and group one. Then what we got over here is 999999, which is gonna be the highest one. We don't put the padding there. So that'll be 4999999 would be the highest number there. It's saying from one to 999 all the way. This is just rewriting them again, just making sure we have everything done. The source rewrites, this is for re the opposite way. So when it receives the 999 back, it knows how to convert that back to 4009990 when you're on the TGIF network. This right here, this last two, do the source rewrite. So when you get them back as uh, you know 400110 uh, for North America, it'll actually convert that back to 110 for you. So these do all the conversions between the two. So when it receives the normal one, it converts it back. Uh, and then the last thing that's uh, you have to make sure you have in is your DMR ID. This DMR ID is how you authenticate and it will match it up. As you can see, there are two DMR. Here, let me move myself real quick. As you can see, there's two DMR IDs. They have different security keys and different IDs. So that will be how you authenticate. So if I have one hotspot using this, it would be using this key. If I had a, another hotspot using this DMR ID, it would use this uh, security key. That again is the ID that you're setting right here. Once all these are set, you can do apply. 
When you come back to your dashboard, you will notice that it actually says Brandmeister 3104 United States and TGIF network. Now I do have DMR to YSF crossover enabled as well, uh, but we can ignore that for now. Now, let me see. If I can actually which one did I do? Two, three, six, seven. Give it a second. Come on. Sometimes it requires a second radio on in that channel. Now, D, this is one of the more con, uh, difficult configurations to do. So don't be surprised if you do have some of these issues right off the bat, uh, like I am, because some of these, uh, are actually for some reason, the network just has some communication issues sometimes. There we go. As you see on that radio, it instantly went through, and there we go. Here I am. <laughs> 